Okay, so um, this is um, paper 2, question 3a. Now, the question says express this fraction 6 over n minus 3 minus 5 over n minus 2 as a single fraction in this simplest form. Now, one of the things we're going to do in this question is to make sure that this equation can be represented as a over b. This is a single fraction. Now, the first thing we need to do is take the LCM of both equations. So that's n minus 3 multiplied by n minus 2. Now, when you do this divided by um, n minus 3, we'll get n minus 2. 6 times n minus 2 is going to be here. Minus here will now be 5 times n minus 3. Now, expanding, opening the bracket, 6 times n gives us 6n. 6 times minus 2 will give us um, minus 12. Minus 5 times n is going to give us minus 5n. Minus 5 times minus 3 will give us plus 15. So now this means... Um, okay, well, we rather leave this here like this than expand it. So it's better that way. So 6n minus 5n is going to give us n. Then minus 12 plus 15 is going to give us positive 3. So divided by n minus 3, n minus 2. So we're looking at this um, equation like this. I don't think we can expand it any other further. So this will now become our final answer. So this is the simplest form. And if you watch it, it's a simple fraction where we just have it as A over B. Where A is this and B is this. So this is a single fraction and it's in its simplest form. So thank you. Now, if you think this video makes sense, please click the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. And also, if you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section. Thank you.